What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, y'all have tuned back into your girl 53 now. Hey, I appreciate everybody that's watching these videos, that's keeping up with the content, that's liking, that's sharing, that's subscribing. Hey, everybody. Hey, only thing I ask y'all to do, y'all make sure y'all turn on that notification bell button, man, so y'all can keep up for when I drop the bangers. Today, we're going to get into, we got a package. So, the package we got, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to reveal it for y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's something that's going to be for the big five, three Chevy Silverado. Today, we're going to get into the first one. You get what I'm saying? We got the first little package. I actually received two packages a day, but we're going to get into the first one. It's just something I've been wanting to do with the truck. It's something I've been been really just kind of putting off. But, you know what I'm saying? We got it now. It's here. And we're going to get into it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set the table up. I got a table I'm going to set up in here, guys. And uh, we're going to put the package on the table. And I'm going to show you guys what I got going on, man. Y'all just stay tuned, man. Don't y'all go nowhere, man. Come on now. Hey, All right, guys. Here we go. See what we got in here. See what's in this plastic. Yeah. Hey, guys. So, right here, we have mirrors. So, the thing about the mirrors is, guys, um, I really haven't been a big fan of the tow mirrors just because I don't tow a whole lot with my truck. Um, I don't do any of that. Um, my truck probably hasn't even seen a trailer. My truck hasn't seen a trailer, actually. I was going to say it probably seen a trailer once, but... Uh, that truck has never seen a trailer, at least while I've had it. So, um, thing of it is, I want to switch out from the tow mirrors that's on the truck. If y'all go back in the previous video, y'all will see the uh, tow mirrors on the truck. But, um, we're going to go with regular stock mirrors. So, what I'm going to try to do is, I'm going to take the, I'm going to go, I'm going to take this gloss black part that you see. We're going to take that off. We're going to prime it. And we're going to paint it to match the color of the truck. I was thinking about painting the entire mirror, well, the entire casing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this uh, more of this, I guess, rough. or It's not really flat, but I guess compared to that, it's more flat. But we're going to leave the flat black part. And we're going to paint this to actually match the truck. So we're going to paint this silver. Um, I'm gonna do another thing of, uh, I'm gonna get the dupla color, uh, color match silver and, um, we're gonna paint the mirrors to match the truck. We're gonna try to figure out how to disassemble these. So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and try to work on trying to take this, uh, the plastic off right here, the, the gloss black plastic. Um, so we can get into trying to go ahead and, and get it scuffed up a little bit and get it primed down. Stay tuned, guys, and we're going to get back in it. All right, guys, so we back. So we got the mirror here. We're going to go ahead. I already uh, masked this one off, and this is just because I don't want to uh, get my tool. I don't want my tool to actually scratch it, to scratch the, uh, what is this, the gloss part, I guess you can say, or the part that we're going to actually paint. Um, I don't want it to scratch it. And I'm really trying to keep my tool from really digging into it because this is the part that's going to be painted. I'm not so much worried about this part because anything that I'm getting at is actually down in this crease right in here. So if this gets damaged, it's actually going to be down in that crease. But I just I, I just really do not want to get the, uh, the painted part uh, scratched. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and try to get down in this one.
All right, guys, so we back. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into going ahead and getting these mirror covers painted. As you can tell, we got to get that shine off of there. We um, got to get these bad boys painted. I'll just go over just a few things that I'm going to use today. These are just some little uh, scotch bright pads. Um, nothing, nothing major. I actually forgot what grit they are, but one is a little, one is a little more coarse than the other. Um, I'm going to start off with this red pad. The red pad actually does good. Um, so I think I'm going to start off with the red pad. It's a little more rough. Um, we got a little tape. The tape is just when we get ready to paint. Um, I may not use any tape. But then again, I may, I'm just going to see because since there's nothing on the, there's nothing really that I have to cover up. Um, I may not use any tape because I do want to get these edges. I do want to get all down in there. I want to get the edges and everything. And I'm not so concerned about the inside of it because once it goes on the mirror, you won't even see that. So we going to, um, we may use the tape. We may not, but it's just good to have a little blue tape on deck. Just a little painter's tape. With okay. these grant uh microfiber towels um i just picked these up at um the harbor freight just my local harbor freight but anyways just a little pack of microfiber cloths if you don't want to use microfiber you can use um like tack rags they have like tack rags that you can find you can either go to your local hardware store or you can find them online but they have like painting tack rags uh, that you can buy or tack tape, whatever you want to call it. Um, that once you sand anything down, when you when it comes to painting, you can actually take across across the. It, you can find them in rags, but you can take them across there and actually, it'll it'll pick up all the dust and dirt or grit or whatever that's left on there from sanding. So today I'm just gonna use microfibers. Um, they'll work just as well. Right here we have. I don't know if y'all can see it. Sun might be shining too much on it, but that's an adhesion promoter. Um, I just got this from the local uh, hardware store or either uh, auto parts store. I think I bought this from the auto parts store. This is just local adhesion promoter. It's good for things like this, like plastic. Um, anything that has like plastic or metal adhesion promoter is good um, to spray before you do your primer or your paint. Um, of course, you guys probably seen this in a previous video when I did the caps, the uh, rim caps, but I'm still, I'm going to use this gray primer because I still had some left from when I did the wheel cap. So we're going to use the primer. Um, like I said, all that, that, all of this came from my local auto parts store. Um, this is the actual silver we're going to go with. We're going to go with a dupla colors. Universal Silver Metallic um, is Dupla Colors Perfect Match. Gonna go with that. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Dupla Color. Um, haven't had any issues with it ever. So I would always recommend Dupla, Dupla Colors Perfect Match if you want to paint something when it comes to your car. You can also get... The thing about Dupla Color is it don't you don't have to get Universal. You can actually get the correct paint that is for your type of car, the make and model of your car. Um, all you have to do is go online and you can actually figure out, you have to get the paint, you have to get whatever your paint is off of your, um, off of your car. You'll have to look inside the door jam, see what your paint color is actually called or whatever it is. And then you can actually, you can actually go on Dupla Color and put that in, or I think you can put in your van number or something like that too. But you can actually put it in and they will give you the exact uh, dupla color. They'll actually give you the exact color that is for your car as far as with the make and the model. But I'm just using this universal metallic because it honestly is the same color as my truck. So, I mean, I already looked you know, I already put it up against it, looked at it, everything. So we just going to go with this. Like I said, these are just mirror caps. We're not trying to paint the entire truck with this. So we're just going to go with this universal uh, silver metallic. Once again, we will be using Dupla Colors uh, 1K Clear. 
So I'm gonna use the 1K clear. Um, I actually did like it on the caps as far as with the rim caps. So we're gonna use it again for these um, mirror caps. So we'll go ahead and show you guys what I had already started doing. Um, I had actually already started kind of, you know, sanding that down. I just wanted to see what it was going to do. As you can tell, it's saying y'all probably can see the scratches in it, but I already started. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll probably put y'all on a, a little time lapse and we're going to go ahead and get these mirrors. Well, get these mirror covers or mirror caps. We're going to go ahead and get these things uh, prime down, well, sand it down, and uh, then we'll get to paint. All right, let's go, guys. Alright guys, so we back with it. I just wanted to stop for a few minutes and show you guys um, the difference in once you sand them and what they look like. Um, this is the one that I just sanded, as you guys can tell. Um, it has more of a, a flat black color or matte looking color to it. This one still has the gloss on it and it's a lot more, uh, I guess, like slicker. Uh, this has more of a rough feeling to it. Um, but as you, but I just wanted you guys just to see that once you sand them, this is what you're going for. You're going for this flat color once you sand it. Now, mind you, I've sanded it. I've actually washed it off with a little, with a little water. I rinsed it off and I've actually went over with the microfiber towel. I'll probably go over it again with the microfiber. Um, and then this one has not been sanded. So as you can tell, you guys can see the reflection in the phone. Um, that this one has not been sanded. This one, you cannot see the reflection of the phone, so you can tell that this one has been sanded. So I just wanted you guys to see a side-by-side -side on what that looks like and that when you're doing this, go for this because this is the way, this is the only way that your paint will have a good surface to stick to. So once I get this one sanded down, guys, I'll cut you back on and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we back. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we got both of them cleaned up, got them degreased, washed off, all of that good stuff. Um, we are set up outside on the table. Um, I put cardboard down because I just don't want to spray my table uh, so much. So we're going to try to go ahead and get this taken care of real quick. Uh, first thing we will be spraying is the adhesion promoter. Um, we'll go ahead and spray this. We'll probably do two light coats of this um, real quick. It only takes about 10 minutes for this to dry, so we'll do two light coats of this. Um, and then we'll move on from there. If you guys hear uh, the traffic in the background, it's because I'm set up outside and I'm actually on a busy road, so y'all just bear with me. can possibly see them i'm not sure the if the camera is actually getting them pretty good or not but that's what we have so far guys so 
we just gonna keep spraying we're gonna let that dry for a minute and then we'll come back in probably about 15 minutes and spray another coat y'all stay tuned all right right here we're just gonna do a little we're gonna do a little light sand we're gonna use the lighter one i do have my red sandpaper but well my red grit pad we're not using sandpaper we're gonna use this grit pad because this is all i got right now but this is the more uh finer one so it's not gonna scratch as bad but we're just gonna try to get some of these imperfections out of the paint with this one because we do got a little grit and dirt in it so we're just gonna use this one to kind of sand that first coat sand it down some Yep, we're gonna have to put a second coat on this. See it already. We may end up having to put a third coat, but we're gonna go with just getting it sand down for right now. Getting those little imperfections out of it. guys there's our second coat of primer um we will sand this coat down as well i'm gonna let this dry a little longer than i did that first coat but um we will sand this coat down and uh come back to it but for now that's the second coat that's coat number two so we're gonna let this sit and dry and then we'll come back to it of course uh i see imperfections because for one thing i am outside i'm in an uncontrolled environment it's not a big deal for me just because I see little particles and imperfections here and there. Uh, like I said, these are just mirror caps. If it's that serious, I actually let a professional do it. But because it's not that serious to me, and this is just my little hobby, which is just working on, you know, little stuff with my truck, then we're just gonna leave it at that. But anyways, guys, this is a second, second stage primer, um, or the second coat of primer. And we're gonna let this sit probably let this sit for about 15 for about 15 20 minutes uh tops and then we'll come back to it guys i cut y'all back on we get ready to uh actually i'll probably come back out here sand it see what it look like if it's sand pretty good um i actually made that coat a little thicker so i probably like i said i'll probably come back out here sand it real good and then once i sand it um we'll more likely be ready for uh for paint
All right, guys, so we back. So we're gonna go ahead with the paint. I already shook the can up. This is our universal silver. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it sprayed. And go ahead and try to get it laid. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a second coat. Uh, we done gave him some time to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and put a second coat on him. And what I do is I move this one out the way for a minute. And we'll go ahead and spray this one. Closer. There you go. So we got both of them. This one's already starting to dry. This one may take a little minute, but those are it though. So we're gonna try to beat this nightfall. So hopefully they'll go ahead and dry. The temperature is actually pretty good right now. Um and we'll just see how this do. Hopefully I can go ahead and get my third coat in. I may have to wait until tomorrow to get my clear coat in or either um, I'll go up on the, uh, I'll go up on the, up on the front porch and, and do the clear coat. But at least for right now, we do have the silver on, the silver metallic. What I can say about that silver metallic is uh, make sure your can is shaking well uh, because you're, pretty much your metallic that's in the paint, you wanna make sure that it's actually meshed well, that it's mixed up well. So, um, like I said, we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then we'll come back to it. This one's already drying. All right, guys, dark done caught me. We're gonna go ahead and try to get this one sprayed on.
right, guys. So we back. We back, we back, we back. Um, and as you can tell, I'm in a small little space right now, but it's okay. We're going to work with it. Um, I really didn't feel like pulling the table out because all we're doing is just applying this clear. But um, as y'all can tell in the background, the silver, the metallic silver came out pretty good. I mean, to be a rattle can, that came out pretty good though. So, I mean, I can't complain about it. It looks good. I don't know how well it picks up on the camera, you know, but I say that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent uh, rattle can job. Um, this one right here, same way, did pretty good. I think on this one, we had a little bit of, um, I don't think it's overspray, but I think what happened was um, I didn't put enough layers on this side. So you probably can't tell, but it has a little, somewhat of a haze to it or stippling um, right here on the sides. But I'm not really concerned about that. Um, I could have sprayed another coat of silver on this one. But I mean, like I said, these are just uh, mirror caps. Uh, there's no, you know, there's really no big deal about them for me. So all we're going to do is we're going to put a little clear coat on them. And um, we're going to get these things knocked out of here. Um, like I said, guys, <clears throat> it came out good. Um, I'm really, I'm really, I guess, amazed that you know how well they came out um and that's that's a pretty doggone good job for a rattle pan so what we're gonna do um we're gonna go ahead and do our first coat of uh 1k clear this is dupla colors 1k clear so we're gonna go ahead and do our do our first coat one guys we're gonna scoop this one out the way as far as possible as you can tell that clear put that gloss on it we're gonna go ahead and keep this one in motion um i really didn't feel like setting the table up so as you can tell well you probably can't tell but i got the cardboard sitting up in a chair so we're just gonna have to work with what we're working with right now i just didn't really because i know the clear coat wasn't going to take that long so i didn't really feel like uh Bringing out the table. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one in. It's clear, guys, so I'm not worried about it spraying over here anywhere. It's only clear. I think we about got that, so we're going to let that first coat. That wasn't a very good coat, but we're trying to work with what we got right here. So, turn this back around so you guys can see that one. So, as you can tell, that clear coat does wonders. I mean, it really puts that 1K shine to it, which is a good thing. So we're gonna let those dry for about 30 minutes. And then um, I'll cut y'all back on and we'll do a second coat. Um, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna either stay at two coats or do three. Uh, we might end up doing three coats, but we just gonna see how that second coat will look. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna cut y'all back on after this dry. Y'all just stay tuned.
guys can tell. Point y'all down just a little bit. But as you guys can tell, that's it right there. So <coughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them in the house and let them dry. They'll dry a little better in the house. And then we'll actually uh, look at the final result when I put them back together. That's what we got. Pick y'all up real quick. So you gotta get a little up close. And it actually looks pretty good. Pretty doggone good though. So I'll cut y'all back on <coughs> once I uh, get them put back together. 